The story opens with a shot of a dense jungle as we hear the sound of explosion. Johnny, waking up in confusion. He looks around, dazed, trying to remember how he got there. He is completely disoriented and can't recall anything about his past. As Johnny starts to explore the jungle, he finds himself in a strange and dangerous world. He encounters various creatures and obstacles, and starts to piece together clues about where he is and how he got there. He discovers that he is on a remote planet, and that he is being hunted by an unknown enemy. Johnny comes to the Nora River, and discovers that the only way to reach the nearest city, Ale, is by crossing it. He finds a raft and sets off, braving the wild currents and rapids as he fights to stay alive. When Johnny finally reaches Ale, he finds it to be a bustling metropolis filled with alien creatures of all shapes and sizes. He begins to search for answers about his mission, but his memories are still foggy and he can't remember much. However, he starts to have flashbacks of a woman named Eve, who he realizes must have been an old friend. Johnny tracks down Eve, and she tells him about their past together. They were part of a group of rebels trying to stop the Empire's Death Squadron from attacking her village. They were successful in their mission, but during their escape, Johnny's ship was shot down and crashed in the Gyu Forest, where he was later found. Johnny is determined to finish what he started and completely destroy the Death Squadron. He must find and destroy their base server and kill their leader, Gal. After successfully destroying the server, Johnny finally comes face to face with Gal in a final, epic battle. Despite his valiant efforts, Johnny is gravely injured in the battle. Johnny, with his dying breath, manages to defeat Gal and save the village. As Johnny lies on the ground, he closes his eyes and the screen fades to black. Suddenly, Johnny wakes up in his own bed, realizing that it was all just a dream. He gets up and looks around confused and disoriented. He checks his phone and sees that it is the morning of the day he was supposed to leave for his vacation. He gets ready, still trying to shake off the remnants of the vivid dream. As he leaves his house, he can't help but feel a sense of unease. He starts to question if the dream had any deeper meaning or if it was just a product of his subconscious. He decides to enjoy his vacation but makes a mental note to reflect on the dream when he returns.